In this video, I want to go over the skills of estimating and evaluating. Estimating is to find an answer. To understand your answer should be less than or more than a particular number. So if you want to estimate the answer of this, so the first thing is we want to estimate. Now in estimation, we want to estimate. Okay, estimate. Okay, so in estimation, you round it to the, you can round it to the nearest 10 or nearest 100. So if you round this to the nearest 100, so well, that is 400 times 4. So I know 4 times 4 is 16, so the answer is 1600. So my answer, you round, you, you have rounded, round this number now down. So your answer should be, your answer, you can say estimate, your answer should be greater than 1600 because you have rounded 437 down to the nearest 100. So we can estimate the answer should be greater than 1600 or 1600. So now let's evaluate. Evaluate is to find the exact answer. Evaluate. Okay, so let's do this is 437 times 4 is same as writing 4 times let me use a, a bit of skill of algebra so this is same as writing 4 bracket or 4 times 400 plus 30 plus 7 this and this are one and the same so I, what I've done is I've written 437 in the expanded form in the hundreds tens and ones so this is same as doing 4 times 400 plus 4 times 30, 4 times 30, You're distributing, we have to, this is called the distributive property, you're multiplying 4, 4 by 4 width of 4 times 30, and then you have to multiply 4 with 7 plus 4 times 7. So this is a good skill, even in algebra, when you expand bracket, this is the same skill we use. So this is 1,600 plus 120 plus 28. Okay, so let's add this to first. So this is 1,600 plus 148. So final answer is, this is 1,748, 1,700. 48. So let me show you th this on a calculator. So our question was 437, 437 times, the star key is for times 4. Just to check whether the answer is right, it is 1748. Okay, let's do 18 times 38. So first we'll estimate. So yeah, estimation. So yeah, Let's round this up, both of them up. So when you round 18 to the nearest 10, which is 20, and this is 40. So your answer is, should, your estimation is 800. So your answer should be less than 800 because you're rounding it up. Okay, so how can we do this? So let's do this in a grid multiplication. You can do this in different ways. I want a rectangle. Okay, so so let's so this is let me draw a line. I'm going to split this into uh, unit. Okay, so I'm going to write 18. I'm going to again. This is times, and I'm going to divide this into two, so two by two. So this 18, yeah, I'm going to write 18 in this uh, column and 39 across. So 18 is 10 plus eight. 10 plus eight is 18 and 39 is 30 plus nine. 30 plus nine is 39. And now I have to just multiply, so 10 times 30. So I know 1 times 3 is 3, and then I have to go put two zeros. 
10 times 9 is 90. 3 times, 8 times 3 is 24, so this is 240, and this is 72. So let's add, let's do the total year this way, and also this way. Okay, so if you add this way, you get 390. And if you add this way, this is 312. 312, and let's add this too. So this is 207. So the answer is 702. Let's add this way. So this is 540, and this is 116. All right. So 540, so let's check 540 plus 11. Uh, this is 112. I've made a mistake here. So this is 72. So this is 162. Yeah, this is 162. So let's add and check whether we're getting the same total both ways. So if you add this way, this, this is 207. So the answer is right, so you can give yourself a smiley face. Okay, so let's check this on a calculator. So you've got 18 times 3. So this is 18 times 39 equals 702. So the answer is right. Okay, let's move on to division. So first we'll estimate this and then we'll find the exact answer. So estimation. So 830 divided by 9, I'll say, what about dividing 810 by 9? So I know 81 divided by 9 is 9. So 810 divided by 9 would be 90. Okay, so our answer should be greater than 90. This is an estimation. You have rounded this down. So your answer should be greater than 90. Okay, so how will we do this? So I'm going to divide, again, using the distributive property. So this is 830 divided by 9. So I'm going to split this into 810 plus 18 plus 9. 18 plus 9 is 27 and plus 3. Okay, is this right? Yeah, 810 plus 18. So this is 30. This is, you know, this has to be 30. So I want to make this 30. So this is, I want to add 20. So this is 18 plus 2 divided by 9. So this is same as dividing 810 by 9, which is 90. Then I got an 18. 18 divided by 9 is 2. And then you have to go 2 divided by 9, which is 2 ninth. Okay, you don't need to exact. This is an exact answer. So final answer would be 92 and 2 ninths. The answer is 92 and 2 nines. 2 nines is, so let's check, estimate the answer. So the question was 830 divided by 9. So 2 nines is 0 0.22 recurring. So let me show you that. So cancel 2 divided by 9 is 0 0.22. So answer is right. Okay, so this is a smiley face, and let's finish with this question. 3,464 divided by 8. So here you can do the estimation yourself. Okay, so let's do the estimation. So estimating, so I'm, I'm rounding this down to 3,200. So 3,200 divided by 8 is, I know 32 divided by 8 is, Four. So the answer should be 400. So I can say this has to be less than, no, greater than because I rounded it down. So my final answer should be greater than 400. Okay, so this probably may turn up with a neat number. So I'm going to divide 3200 
by 8, which is 400. Okay, so now I have got 464. So this is 3200 plus how much? Plus 264. Okay, so what can I do now? So this I'm going to change. So can I take 240 from this? So if you take 240, you can divide 240 by 8, which is 30. So if you take away 240 from this, how much is left? So this is 240 plus 24, isn't it? So 240 plus 24 is 264. So now I'm going to divide 24 by 8, which is 3. So my final answer should be 433. Okay, let's check it. Always good to check. Okay, so the question was 3,464 divided by 8 equals 433. Our answer is right. So you can give yourself five smiley faces. Are we doing